there's a seaside place known as Blackpool, what are noted for fresh air and fun. There went Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbottom, and they took young Albert, their son. A gay little lad was young Albert, all dressed in his best, quite a swell, with a stick, with a horse's head tandle, the finest that Woolworths could sell. Well, they didn't think much of the ocean, the waves they was piddling and small. There was no wrecks and nobody drowned. In fact, nothing to laugh at at all. So seeking for further amusement, they paid and went into the zoo. There was lions and tigers and camels and old ale and sandwiches, too. Now there were one lion there named Wallace, and his nose were all covered with scars, and he lay in a somnolent posture with the side of his face out of bars. Albert had heard about lions, how they was ferocious and wild, and to see lion, lion there, so peaceful. It didn't seem right to the child. A brave little lad where young Albert, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with the horse's head's handle, and he shoved it in Wallace's ear. Ooh, you could see that the lion didn't like it, and given a kind of a roll, he pulled Albert in cage with him and swallowed the little lad whole. Pa, who had seen the occurrence and didn't know what to do next, said mother yon lion said albert said mother Ooh, i'm vexed well they talked to the animal keeper he said what a nasty mishap are you sure it's your boy he's eaten said pa am i sure there's his cap well the manager chap he was sent for he come in he says what's to do pa said yon lion's at albert and him in his sunday clothes too well, the manager uh, wanted no trouble. He drew forth his purse straight away, saying how much to settle the matter. Pa says, what do you usually pay? At this, mother got rather awkward, thinking where her Albert had gone. Someone's got to be summoned. So that was decided upon. They went down to the police station, and in front of the magistrate chap, they had said what had happened to Albert, and they proved it by showing his cap. Well, the man, the magistrate gave his opinion. He said no one was really to blame, and he said that he hoped the Rams Bottoms would add further sons to their name. At this, mother got proper blazing, and thank you, sir, kindly cries she. What spend all my life raising children to feed bloody lions, not me. Albert and the Lion.